These in my hands are Xiaomi 14 series protective cases. Well, they really reminded me of the, uh, the latest iPhones. Anyway, we probably are the very first to get these phones cases. Taking these leaked cases, we also want to share with you guys about what upgrades or changes are coming to the Xiaomi 14 series. Before we move to the discussion here, I'd like to introduce you to our newly launched tech products mall, geekwheels.com. Our editors have selected some really nice tech products and we may have some discounted review samples on this mall's sales section. So if you guys are interested, you can check it out there as well. Your support is really important for us to keep doing this. Thank you. First, these phone cases mean the new flexures are really coming soon. Xiaomi is going wild in the last few months of 2023. After the Redmi K60 Ultra and Note 13 series, we may soon see the release of Xiaomi 14 series, the world's first flexure phone powered by Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. It's likely to be released in late October or early November. Actually, from some sources, we learned that the Xiaomi 14 series got scheduled production at the end of August and even raised the order quantity by at least 60%. From the shape of these cases, it's pretty confirmed that the Xiaomi will stick to the flat and sharper design with the super narrow bezels over the Xiaomi 14 Pro. The size here seems to be a bit smaller than its predecessor, but we still can put this Xiaomi 13 Pro into the case. As we can imagine here, the series is likely to go straight against the latest iPhone 15 and 15 Pro, or no offense, just like some sort of a respectful parody. After all, it's nothing new. Well, the real design of the Xiaomi 14 Pro appears to be the successor of the Xiaomi 13 Pro's design, but we learned that there will be an ultimate variant of the phone coming with a titanium alloy frame. So I'm not kidding, Apple, Xiaomi is coming. It retains a square camera island housing three cameras and an LED flash unit, and the case shows that the island seems to be a bit thicker and larger on both the 14 and the 14 Pro. Interestingly, the top right module here, which resembles a camera with internal sensors, might actually house the LED flash and bear the Leica branding. But I'm happy if I was wrong and it turns out to be the fourth camera. For your reference, the Xiaomi 13 Pro had the LED flash and the Leica logo in the right module, and according to some rumors, its selling points will focus on the upgrade of the main camera solution and display. The Xiaomi 14 Pro will have triple Leica cameras on the rear, consisting of a 50 megapixel primary camera and a 50 megapixel ultra wide angle lens and another 50 megapixel telephoto lens and a 32 megapixel selfie camera on the front, which will also support 4K recording at 60 FPS. Surprisingly, the main camera will also feature variable physical aperture from f1.4 to f4, just like Huawei Mate 60 Pro does. But we may be disappointed as the telephoto lens and ultra lens won't get much upgraded. And the telephoto lens may only feature 2.7x as original zoom but not 3 or above, but it's still available for macro shooting. The Pro version is expected to have a 2K 120Hz quad-curved AMOLED display covering a stronger display. Some said that it's the brightest display ever with the narrowest bezels for a smartphone. As for performance, it's powered by the Snapdragon Agent 3 chip, up to 24GB of LPDDR5X RAM, up to 1TB of UFS 4.0 storage, and a 4,860mAh battery with 120W fast wide charging and 50W wireless charging. Man, that's a lot of numbers. While the standard model will also be powered by the Agent 3 chipset, so the performance will be almost the same as the Pro model. But its charging drops 90 watt but still comes with a wireless charging. It still offers a more compact flat display, but the panel is from TCL and the resolution has been upgraded to 1.5K. I'm sure the display will be better than the 13s. So personally, if the camera setup doesn't suck, I'd prefer to buy the standard model. Some sources claim that there will be one version using a never-before-seen design. But let's be honest, don't get your hopes high. It most likely refers to the titanium alloy frame and it may only be available on the ultimate version. Then of course, it's called ultimate because it's probably getting more expensive. The new series will run the MIUI based on Android 14 and specifically, the Pro model is expected to support satellite connectivity. Finally, let's look back at the cases. Mm, all right, there's really not much more to share. Hopefully, there will be more leaks of the new series in the coming days that will offer further details. Otherwise, we may have to anticipate for the Xiaomi 15 series. So, do you have any ideas or leaks about the Xiaomi 14 series? Let's talk down below. Anyway, we will still be reviewing the Xiaomi series as usual. Just stay tuned. And let us know if you want to buy any tech gadgets. Maybe Geek Wheels can help. Thank you for watching. See you soon.